Is it the right time to buy or sell SoFi stock? Welcome back. Today, we're delving deeper into SoFi. We previously shared an overview on our website on Tuesday, January 30th, 2024, and now we're here to provide you with an even more comprehensive analysis. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay up to date with our latest analysis. You wouldn't want to miss any vital updates that could impact your investments. Elevate your trading decisions with our newly launched AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4, available at stockinvest.us. Tap into the power of AI and receive free price predictions and in-depth analysis for any of the 25,000 companies worldwide today. Please keep in mind that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. Since January 30, 2024, our system has identified SoFi as a sell candidate, with a score of minus 2.13. Now, let's dive into how the stock has performed during this period. We will closely monitor this evaluation to track its progress in the coming days. The stock is currently experiencing a strong rising trend in the short term, indicating potential for further growth. Over the next three months, there is a projected 14.64% change in the stock's value, offering a potential return between 3.6% and 47.64%. Looking ahead to the next 12 months, the trend suggests a 25.37% change, with a possible return between 5.97% and 90.3%. This could result in a price range of $8.90 to $15.99 after a year. Our latest update for SoFi brings a headline, Volatile Ride for SoFi Stock Price on Tuesday, with fluctuations between $8.38 and $9.40. On the last trading day, Tuesday, January 30, 2024, the SoFi stock price experienced a 8.3% decrease, moving from $9.16 to $8.40. Throughout the day, the stock fluctuated by 12.17%, reaching a low of $8.38 and a high of $9.40. Although the price has fallen in six of the last 10 days, it is still up by 8.81% over the past two weeks. Interestingly, the trading volume decreased along with the stock, which is generally considered a positive sign. Specifically, the trading volume fell by 169 million shares on the last day, with a total of 115 million shares being bought and sold for approximately $969.31 million. Looking at the broader picture, the stock's highest and lowest prices over the past 52 weeks were $11.70 and $4.45, respectively. Currently, the price is 28.21%, equivalent to $3.30, below the 52-week high, and 70.28%, equivalent to $19.86, below the all-time high on February 1, 2021, when the price reached $28.26. Analyst Ratings On January 10, 2024, Deutsche Bank gave SoFi a hold grade with an initialize action. On October 18, 2023, Keith Bruyette and Woods upgraded SoFi's grade to market perform with an upgrade action. On August 17, 2023, Citigroup gave SoFi a buy grade with a hold action. On August 1, 2023, Keefe, Bruyette and Woods downgraded SoFi's grade to underperform with a downgrade action. On July 25, 2023, Stevens initiated SoFi with an equal weight grade. Analysts have given SoFi stock a general neutral rating. They rate the P-E ratio as strong buy and price to book as strong buy. However, for return on investment, the analysts give the stock a sell rating. SoFi has shown several signals that are worth considering. Firstly, a buy signal was identified on Thursday, January 18, 2024, when the stock reached a pivot bottom point. Since then, it has risen by 13.36%. This upward trend is expected to continue until a new top pivot is found. Additionally, there is a buy signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence, MACD. However, we should also take note of some negative signals that may impact the stock's short-term development. 
While the SoFi stock currently holds a buy signal from the short-term moving average, the long-term average indicates a general sell signal. This suggests a more negative forecast for the stock. If the stock continues to rise, it will face resistance from the long-term moving average at $8.65. On the other hand, if it falls, it may find support from the short-term average at $8.01. Breaking through the long-term average will generate another buy signal, while falling below the short-term average will strengthen the sell signal. Lastly, it's worth noting that the volume of trading fell along with the price during the last trading day. This reduces the overall risk, as volume typically follows price movements. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. The moving average convergence divergence indicator shows a buy signal. The pivots indicator also indicates a buy signal 9 days ago. The Bollinger indicator had a buy signal 88 days ago. The short-term moving average gave a sell signal 6 days ago. The long-term moving average had a buy signal 3 days ago. The relation between the short and long moving averages showed a buy signal 14 days ago. Now, let's take a look at the 12-month chart. The short moving average had a buy signal 3 days ago. The long-term moving average also had a buy signal 3 days ago. The relation between the short and long moving averages showed a buy signal 27 days ago. Remember to visit our page at stockinvest.us for more signals. Support, Risk, and Stop Loss for SoFi SoFi's current support level is at $8.17, backed by accumulated volume. This level presents a potential buying opportunity, as it is expected to trigger an upwards reaction when tested. However, it's important to note that this stock exhibits high volatility, which means it can experience significant price fluctuations throughout the day. The Bollinger Band also indicates a large prediction interval, further emphasizing the high-risk nature of this stock. In the previous day, SoFi's price fluctuated between its highest and lowest points by $1.02, accounting for a 12.17% change. Over the past week, the stock has shown an average daily volatility of 6.8%. Before we explore the potential trading levels for SoFi, it's important to understand some fundamental data. Let's start with the price-to-earnings ratio, or P-E ratio. This ratio compares a company's current share price to its per-share earnings. If a company has a negative P-E ratio, it means they have negative earnings or are losing money. It's normal for established companies to experience downturns due to external factors. However, consistent negative P-E ratios could indicate insufficient profits and potential bankruptcy risks. Moving on to other news, the next earnings report for Q1 2024 is scheduled for April 29, 2024. Let's now analyze some potential day trading levels for SoFi. If SoFi experiences an upward trend, the first resistance level to watch out for is at $9.16. If you don't currently own any shares, it might be wise to wait for the stock to surpass this level before considering entering a position. However, if you are already holding SoFi, this could be a suitable level to consider for swing trading. On the other hand, if the stock faces a downward movement, the initial support level for SoFi is at $8.17. If this support level holds, it could present a favorable entry point, with the potential for a rebound in the stock's price. SoFi's average rating from multiple analyst sources is neutral. Now, let's dive into some recent insider trades. On January 9, 2024, Stephen J. Freiburg purchased 7,571 shares of restricted stock unit. On December 19, 2023, Jeremy Rischel sold 56,273 shares of common stock. On December 14, 2023, Derek J. White sold 114,362 shares of restricted stock unit. On December 14, 2023, Derek J. White purchased 114,362 shares of common stock. On December 15, 2023, Derek J. White sold 48,261 shares of common stock. Based on the 100 most recent insider trades, the insider power ratio is calculated to be negative at minus 20.774. In the last 100 trades, 
insiders have purchased a total of 4,896,168 shares and sold 7,545,609 shares. Unfortunately, we have a negative evaluation for this stock and it is important to note that no stop loss has been set. Is SoFi stock a good buy? Currently, SoFi displays several negative signals and we anticipate weak performance in the near future. Our evaluation of this stock is negative. We have downgraded our analysis conclusion from a buy to a sell candidate due to some minor weaknesses in the technical picture. Upon analyzing the volatility and movements of the last trading day, our systems indicate that the current price is undervalued. On Wednesday, January 31st, we anticipate SoFi to open up $0.327 and start trading at $8.73. Before we begin, it's important to remember that trading comes with a high risk of losing money. We strongly recommend consulting with a financial advisor before making any buying or selling decisions. Please note that StockInvest.us should not be the sole basis for your investment choices. By using this information, you agree to take full responsibility for your own investment decisions. Welcome to Stock Invest. Today, we want to share our current view on this stock with you. We value your input, so please let us know if you agree or disagree by commenting below. We're also interested to hear what target you have in mind for this stock. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more valuable insights. We hope you have a successful trading experience and a beautiful day. Thank you for being a part of our Stock Invest community.